is Farah Nazgul, and my family was once one of the most powerful families in all of Sakairim, until we were afflicted with the curse of the vampire. We have been wronged, slain, and woefully stricken of all titles and wealth. I seek vengeance against the people of Skyrim. I will have my revenge. I will destroy the infidels who take my life from me. We will be powerful again. This I swear to you, my family. I will have vengeance above all else. Hello, everyone. This is Bane as Batman. Um, that was my little introduction to this series. Um, this is going to be my vampire series where I will be trying my best to destroy, unravel, and tear down the very fabrics of Skyrim. I will amass an army of the undead, <coughs> namely vampires, and I will be... Um, yes. I'll be doing this somewhat regularly now. I'm out of school. I've got a job with some steady hours. Um, I'm finding myself with more and more ta free time. Uh, and as far as my Dark Rust series, um, I lost all of the files for that when I got hacked and the character got corrupted. So I will not be continuing that. And yeah, I hope to have fun with this. I hope you all enjoy it too. And with that, let's begin. Just gotta find my way out of this cave. I hope the video settings aren't too dark. I will try to adjust that in post-production. Mm. How the hell do we get out of here? Looks like we go this way, and... Right. I was originally intending for this to be... Oh, a roleplay series, but... I don't know if I'll be able to sum that up well enough, so... I decided against it. For the most part we will be role-playing, but um, not in the sense where I will be taking on the toll of my character the entire time, but in the sense that I will be trying to accomplish this character's goals to the best of my abilities. This is a hardcore series on the legendary difficulty. I have what the Wildcat ins mod installed with the Wildcat realistic damage. So I have a very high potential of being one shot, but I also have a high potential of one shotting all of my enemies. Um, 
We're starting out at level 1, and we will go from there. I'm going... this character is going to be focusing on destruction magics, along with... oop. Ah. Sorry, I'm <laughs> still not quite used to the PC controls for this game. I've been trying to get better at that. Uh, so destruction, enchanting, smithing, um, light armor, and archery is the direction we're going to be going with this character. Alright, so this way... Um, can I take one of these? Um, for the sake of simplicity, I am going to... That's what the problem is. Alright. I spawned this in simply because the character models I am using, the females in particular, have a slight issue with the vampire armor set in which it slightly shows, um, some unmentionables. So that will not be... I will try to avoid things like that altogether. I spawned myself with this Vagabond Leather Armor and that is all I am changing other than this Travel Lantern about my apparel. And I want you guys to let me know if you want me to use the survival mode mod to add some challenge. At this point in time, I do not plan on it, but if you want to see it, then I will do it. But as of right now, it is not in my plans. Alright. Uh, oop. There we go. can see a little bit better now. Uh, alright, here's the way we just came from. Um, ah, here we go. Here's the way out, I think. Don't quote me on that. Yes. Ooh, scary. <laughs> do you do it? Nope. Okay. Um... Hmm. There we go. Out into Skyrim, the world of cold. And, yeah. I'm using the Better Vampires mod to have a more immersive vampire. I will be gorging, I will be, oop. I also have Moonlit Tales installed, this is on uh, the special edition of Skyrim, and yeah, we'll be going on from here. Alright, so, oop, 
Uh, where should we... I think first we are going to go over, make our way over to, not Winterhold, but Windhelm. We won't be stopping at Whiterun just yet, but yeah. Also, if we wait for two, if we wait and it becomes daylight or as a vampire in this, um, it will instantly kill us. I also have some uh, some creature mods installed. Um, one in particular makes me wary of the forests because it adds a sort of a guardian that will probably one-shot me for the foreseeable future. All right, we need to make our way out of this valley and head northeast early direction so uh, no. of course not all right I'll tr I will be trying to get this out on a regular basis um, no promises I will have to be I will have to some work to do, I, real life problems, um, <laughs> and yeah, ooh, dragon wall, uh, let's go down there, Currently, I don't have any plans of starting the Dragonborn questline. Um, this character is not Dragonborn, but if we come across the walls, we will take them. Uh, like I said, we started with no gold to our name. I removed it all via console commands. And... Yeah. And we are going to have to um, feed pretty soon, otherwise we will be killed on spot. So if we come across any bandits or anything, we're going to immediately gorge ourselves. And hope for the best that they don't kill us. <laughs> If you guys have any tips, tricks, or anything that you want to leave in the comments, I will, I will read the comments for the first two days of the video. Or no, I'll read the comments. I will be reading the comments quite regularly. Um, no guarantee that I will see them all. Yeah. Or maybe I will, because <laughs> I have three subscribers. You never know. Um, I will try to keep be as interactive with the comment section in this as possible without going too far. Alright. Oh! We spawned right next to Helgen. This is... <laughs>
There we are. Alright. Um, hmm. This would be useful simply for the stealth skills, but I think for the sake of leveling our destruction quicker, I will take the mage stone for once. Bleak Falls Barrow, not a safe place anymore. It's also really dark in there with my ENBs. Or my ENB, yeah. Alright. We will kill this ma woman. We will kill this woman and make her our first family. I believe I can have her as a follower, so this will be our first one. Oop. Not what I meant to do. Um, Alright, feed. Arise, arise, my child. Oh. Hey, you're the one that hurt me. Yes. Uh, I also have the necromancy the mod that Garrett like has. That Garrett has, which adds decaying, anime, a decaying something? effect to all of the things that I will raise, as you can Need clearly something? see. She has really seen better days. All right. Entering Ember Shard Mine. And it looks like I was wrong. We cannot have her as a follower. Which I'm slightly relieved about. I don't really like the follower system in this game. It's always been a bit buggy. Oof. Yeah, this stuff will actually kill me now. Whereas before it would be a slight inconvenience, the... Wildcat mod I have installed will make that deadly. You don't really have anything good. Some gold, some lockpicks. Alright. Poor fool. Take your gold. Also got um, realistic armors installed, a couple immersive weapons mods, and so on and so forth. Probably not being as careful as I should be, but again, as long as I can get the drop on the enemies, um, they won't be too big of a problem. If they get the drop on me, however, I will be severely and thoroughly dead. Alright. Oh, I can't reach you. That's awkward. Alright. I'm not lost. That's actually where I am.
Oof. Okay. Oh boy. That wasn't good. A training bow. I th you know, I think we'll pass. That That is the whole wholesome and only reason I am alive right now, because she had an in inadequate weapon to deal with me. to make our way to Riverwood. I also have some mods that overhaul and rework the way that cities work don't think this is a good example of one because I think the one I had installed made it so that you actually couldn't use the inn. Um, but yeah. Yes? Who are you? you need something? Yes? Um, not quite. Did I not put that on my hotbar? Let's put that as three. Honestly, have no clue who this is. Uh, probably a mod I have installed somewhere. But yeah. yeah. Ooh. May the gods watch over your battle, friend. You have definitely looked better. Hmm. All right. I have a feeling this is too dark right now, so... Oh, ignore that. I, I only grabbed that because it was free. <laughs> Night brightness, let's go for... Normal. Alright, still dark as the dickens. Ooh, Sven. And his... Why is his mother out? Why are he and his mother out? Feindal thinks he can move Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling you. <laughs> you look like a traveler. So, truly. You had best tell the Jarl in White Run. He needs to know about this. Camilla Valerius. I've seen him sneaking over to the Riverwood Trader to speak with him when I'm not around. He's wasting his time. Is that sarcasm? I've heard better wisecracks from Orgnar. Ah, still you have a point. Here, let me give you a particularly venomous letter. Say, it's from Thane. Lucan's got a little bit of everything at the Riverwood. If you need weapons or armor, see Alvo, the blacksmith. Oh. Speaking of Alvo... Ah, oh, damn. Okay. Um... Let's see here... We need three iron ingots, some firewood, and some leather strips. That should be easy enough to obtain. Ugh. 
this is also part of that uh, boss mod. If we were playing as a male, we could wear Geralt of Rivia's armor. Ooh. That's also part of the, uh, the character model mod that I have installed. If you're wondering what this looks like on female models, um, it just looks like a leather armor set, so not gonna bother with it. I don't know how these count as helmets, but okay. Alright. What was I going to make again? Oh, yeah. Uh, we still need the iron. That letter ought to convince Camilla to oh, dear. Oh, God. Well. <laughs> Until next time. Um... Okay. Daylight broke. Uh. <laughs> that is unfortunate. That is severely unfortunate. Um. Well, I guess this character is, uh, is done for. Um, being that the case, let's go kill Sven, because I hate that prick. We didn't even get a good start, that the sun just fucking straight up killed us. Nope. If I was playing the survival edition, I would be dead here too. Because that does not, that that oh so wonderful creation kit mod just does not like you being in water at all. You saw nothing. Alright. Well, new character on the next episode. Thank you all for watching. This is ba has been Bane as Batman with the Snake Skull Gaming uh, YouTube channel. And I will talk to you all later.